Welcome back, all you great tops at home. I hope you guys are enjoying the show and I hope that you guys are actually taking in every single thing that Tracy has been giving you from the hour up until right now. So I hope you guys are like really, 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 really. As she said before the ad break, she's got a very nice, difficult question. Okay, she didn't say difficult. Difficult is me. I know, because I know. I've worked with Tracy before. We all know how Tracy is. Anywho, we are on Facebook. Let us know anything that you guys have issues with. That is www.facebook.com forward slash mindset TV. Okay, Tracy, your difficult, yes. easy, nice question. You know, when I say it's a nice question, it's because it's my favorite section. It's circuits. Okay. Circuits are fun. I granted, I'm not anyone who seems to think so, but these actually, and I wish I knew the learner who sent them in, Wow, these are wonderful, wonderful questions. Simply because they're not difficult, mm -hmm. but they really do test your understanding of circuits. And that's what I like about them, okay? So they tell you, a learner connects a high-resistance voltmeter across a battery. The voltmeter reads 6 volts. She then connects a 6-ohm resistor across the battery, and the voltmeter now reads 5 volts. So basically what happened is we have our battery, Okay, and we have a voltmeter over it, and then she connects a 6 ohm resistor on it. That's basically what she's done, okay? But by connecting the 6 ohm resistor, the voltmeter reading drops. So what we know here is that my EMF is 6 volts. My external voltage is 5, and my resistor is 6. What you have to recognize here is in order to get internal resistance, first of all, you're going to try use this. Yeah, it looks like fun, but I don't have R. I mean, I don't have I. So I need to find I, and I absolutely can find I, because I've got the 6 ohm resistor, and I know that if I put a voltmeter over that 6 ohm resistor, it's actually the same as the voltmeter over the battery. So the 6 ohm resistor has a potential difference of... 5 volts. So watch. So my R is my external voltage over my current. So this is 6. Okay. My external voltage is 5. I want I. So my current is 6 divided by 5, which is, no, it's not. It's 5 divided, stop it. It's 5 divided by 6. Wow. That was terrible because it's actually 5. Watch, I'm going to show you. This is why you should actually write it all down. 5 divided by 6, which is 0 0.8. Okay, watch, I promise. It is 5 divided by 6. It is not 0 0.8 either. It's 0 0.83. Okay, well, we're doing well today. Not okay. getting okay. All right. It's the problem if you like a section. You get a little cocky and you think you can, you know, you get all you like, know, it's like you got <laughs> you know, it. everything. Yeah. But apparently not so much. No. Moving on. <laughs> okay, so I know the current. Now, because I know the current, I can now go, well, V, okay, let's do it this way because I like to start with my normal V. So my internal resistance is V internal divided by current. I know current is 0.83. V internal is this. V external plus V internal gives me my EMF. So if my external is 5, my internal is what I'm looking for, my EMF was 6, my internal is 1 volt. So in other words, this is 1 divided by 0, 0.83. Okay, so 1 divided by 0, 0.83, 1,2. Okay, not so bad. Great. Now let's see what they do next, because they'll never leave it like this. Now they say to you, so now we know the internal resistance 1, 2 ohms, okay? The learner now builds the circuit below using the same 6-volt battery. So my internal resistance is still 1, 2 ohms. Internal resistance is a constant, okay? She connects an unknown resistor X in parallel to the 6 ohm. The voltmeter now reads 4.5 volts. Your external voltage, this is V external, will change. By adding the X in parallel, I've changed the current in the circuit. 
okay? And by changing the current in the circuit, I change into an internal voltage and external voltage. Now they ask you to calculate the resistance of X when, when the voltmeter reads four and a half volts. We need to find the resistance of the external circuit, okay? This one would be worth a lot of marks, okay? Because if I find the resistance of the external circuit, that's actually my R parallel, and then I can work out X from there. But in order to work out that, I need current. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go V, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with R. R equals V internal over current. My V internal, okay, is my EMF minus my external. It's the same 6 volt battery. Now that's 4.5. So that's one and a half volts now, okay? It's not one, it's one and a half. R is one comma two, that hasn't changed. I want I, so I is one and a half divided by 1.2, I did get it right this time. So that's one comma two five amps. I expect the current to go up because the total resistance decreased because I added resistors in parallel. Great. You're going, yay, now what do we do? Well, parallel section. I know the current going in there is 1,25. That is same as V parallel. So here I'm going to do, now this is the fun part of this. This all becomes a math problem. Watch here. My resistors in parallel, which is the 6 and the X together, which I'll do in a second, is my external voltage divided by my current. So that means it's 4.5 divided by 1,25. Okay, so 4.5 divided by 1.25 gives me 3.6 ohms. Not done. And this is where life gets fun. And this is where your calculators are really nice, okay? Because you don't stress about this in terms of fractions. Because now watch here. Remember that our parallel is 1 over R plus 1 over Rx, okay? Because X is what I'm looking for. R parallel is 3 comma 6. So 1 over 3 comma 6 is equal to 1 over 6 plus 1 over Rx, okay? Now it's a math problem. And you'd only get one mark for getting to this next part. So 1 over Rx is equal to 1 over 3 comma 6 minus 1 over 6, so watch what I'm going to get here. So I'm going to go 1 divided by 3.6 minus 1 divided by 6. Okay, let's just put that in, um, so it's 1 over 9. Okay, that's 1 over 9. Okay, therefore, Rx equals 9 over 1, which is 9 ohms. And I can also do this, let's go back there, it's 0, 999. I turn it upside down, 9 ohms. Okay? All happen. How do I know if I'm right? Because now if I go 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 9, and I turn it upside down, I get 3.6, and now I've got the right answer. Okay, not so bad. The thing you had to remember here was that your internal resistance is a constant. Okay, it, it feels really strange with a battery, but your external voltage and your internal voltage is dependent on the current which is actually dependent on your external circuit okay and how you arrange your 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 um resistors okay so um okay i did all the answers there let's not go there and we didn't need that one because we're actually done with those so <gasps> This question is one we chose because we haven't done power in a while. And it's quite important. Power is from grade 11. So it says to us, in the diagram below, three light bulbs, A, B, and C, are connected in parallel to a 12-volt source of negligible internal, look at that, <gasps> internal resistance, not important. Yay! Makes life so much easier. Now, the bulbs are rated 4, 6, and 10 watts respectively and are all at their maximum brightness. In other words, they are operating at 4 watts, 6 watts, 10 watts. Calculate the resistance of the 4 watt bulb. Wow. Now you look at this and you go, 
Oh, I know that resistance is V over I. Okay, I need I. I don't know I, but I know P. What's important here? The battery is 12 volts. The only thing in this circuit is the parallel section. That means that has 12 volts around over it, that has 12 volts around it, that has 12 volts. They're in parallel, they all have the same. So, now we go, I know the power, oh, no, it's not what I wanted to do. So, power has three equations. Power is V times I. Power is I squared R. And power is V squared over R. Ooh, I don't know I, but I do know V. So, if I use that equation and I go power, is V squared over R. My power was 4. V is 12. Okay. That means R is going to be 12 squared divided by 4, which is 36 ohms. Ah, not so bad. We're doing well, so we know this is 36 ohms. Ooh, okay, 36 ohms. Right. How will the equivalent resistance, in other words, total of the circuit change if the 6 watt bulb burns out? Now, if the 6 watt bulb burns out, it's like us taking it out of the circuit. That's the same as me taking out a resistor in parallel. Now, when I take resistors out of parallel, I increase the total resistance. I put resistors in parallel to decrease the total resistance. I take them out to increase. That means the total resistance will increase. Great. Ooh. How will the power dissipated by the 10 watt and 6 watt bulb change if, change if, the, bulb cha if the bulb burns out? See, such a nice question. Because... Let's just go back to the equations over here that I had for power. If we look at this, I'm telling you that they this is gone. This is operating at maximum power. Power is staying the same. Okay? It's still got a 12 volt battery. That hasn't changed. There was no internal resistance. So that 12 volts isn't going to change. V stays the same. Is R going to change? Nope. Power stays the same, okay? So when we, when we answer this question is, how would the power dissipator change? There'll be no change, okay? Why? V remains constant, okay? Since P equals V squared over R and R is constant, constant, P also remains constant. They like to do that because they try, because they, because you think about it and you go, well, total resistance is decreased, current is going to change, and yes, the current will change. But even with these with these two equations, my current will change to make sure power stays the same. Okay, the whole thing here is that my resistance stays the same and the voltage over it stays the same, so the power must stay the same. Okay, and you know what? what? Unfortunately, that is me done. Really? Yes. So quick. So quick. It's my last one to school one. Tomorrow's going to be full. Okay. So, but that's okay. You guys are going to do fine. I'm um, practice, practice, practice. On that note, practice. Practice, practice. There's a saying, actually. Um, I think it's five Ps. I'll remember it one day. <laughs> Remind me one day I'm going to remember it. What I the remember five Ps it. are practice, 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 practice. Just practice. Just practice. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. And thank you guys for being such amazing guests. You guys rock more than myself and Tracy. From everybody here in studio, would like to say bye for now.